Hello biology lovers, today we are going to look at adaptation. Very important part of the alimentary canal, as we have always known, because in the ileum we have two main important functions. These functions are number one, completing digestion of food, and the second function of the ileum is to absorb end products of digestion. So the ileum has features that enable it to carry out these two amazing functions as you are going to be observing in a few minutes because the ileum has a tremendous role and as you can see the ileum over here the ileum is this part here of the alimentary canal the small intestine. So the small intestine as a part of the alimentary canal just actually receives food from the duodenum, it receives food from the duodenum and then it coils several times as you're seeing here it's coiling, it's coiling and that coiling is also a feature as we're going to see. So in every adaptation we have a feature and we have a function. Number, the ileum is long, being long, in fact the ileum is about 3.5, 3.5 meters long. That's quite a long distance. That's quite a long distance. And this provides a large surface area for absorption and for digestion of food, which is very, very necessary because the larger the surface area, the more you're going to be available for ending digestion, completing digestion, and also absorbing all the products of digestion. Number two, the ileum is coiled. And being coiled is very, very necessary because it reduces the speed of movement of food, which increases the efficiency of absorption of digested products. Number three, very important feature. It has a very important feature of having numerous villi. Numerous villi provide a large surface area for absorption of the end products of digestion for absorbing the glucose for absorbing the fructose for absorbing the fatty acids and glycerol so it has many villi thirdly as we are going to be observing over there each of villas each villas in the ileum has numerous microvilli many microvilli are important because they further increase the surface area for absorption of the end products of digestion. So a closer look at one epithelial cell shows that what we look over here, what we're seeing over here are the numerous microvilli. They are many because they have to further increase the surface area for absorbing the end products of digestion. To that, as we are going to see over there quickly, we shall see that the ileum has dense network of blood capillaries. It is supplied and drained by numerous blood vessels. Yes. So in the ileum, we have a thin epithelium. We shall come to the, actually the numerous blood capillaries later. But here we're talking about, first of all, the thin epithelium. The thin epithelium is important because it reduces the diffusion distance. And this results in faster diffusion of the end products of digestion into the bloodstream. So the glucose, the, 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 the fructose, all these end products of digestion are going to diffuse. The amino acids, they are going to diffuse at a quick rate into the bloodstream, which maintains a steep diffusion gradient. And when you have a steep diffusion gradient, then you're going to have a faster rate of diffusion because you're transporting away the end products of digestion at a quick rate. You're, you're having a short diffusion distance. And this is what we're seeing over here. Mm -hmm. It is just one layer thick, which is very, very necessary. And then earlier, I had talked about a dense capillary network. Like we're seeing that image over there. The dense capillary network also increases the speed of transportation of the end products of digestion, and thus maintaining a steep diffusion. Other functions, other features are features such as having many enzymes. These many enzymes are produced from areas such as these 
where we actually know that this is an intestinal gland or a crypt of Lebacon. In an intestinal gland or a crypt of Lebacon, we have secretions produced from within here by the cells within such an area in the ileum. And these secretions contain many enzymes, enzymes such as lactase, enzymes such as lipase, peptidase. These enzymes are important because they complete the breakdown of the disaccharides, they complete the breakdown of the peptides into amino acids, disaccharides into monosaccharides. And these are the smallest molecules, the monosaccharides, which can easily be absorbed into the bloodstream. Lastly, but not least, the lacteals are also found in each of the villas. So each villas has a lacteal, and these lacteals are important in rapidly transporting fatty acids and glycerol away from the ileum, and therefore still maintaining a steep diffusion gradient. Thank you very much for listening to the adaptations of the ileum. See you next time. God bless you.